Welcome to the Saddle Dome. Today, the New York Islanders take on the Calgary Flames. Nestled at the foothills of the Canadian Rockies. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Calgary, the home of the Flames. We're at the Pengrove Saddle Dome. NHL action, ESPN. Hi, everybody. Gary Thorne along with Bill Clement. And we got the frozen pond ready to rock. Well, the last team I played for was the Calgary Flames. Soft spot in my heart for these guys. Okay, they're a little younger than I am now, but uh, they're really good. Defense and scoring sometimes don't go together. Tonight, though, we've got a couple of guys on the ice who do both. Adrian O'Coin has a booming shot from the point, and he was brought in for one reason, to strike fear into the hearts of goalies, and he does it. Hey, you know when his coach looks at this guy, he thinks, I've got a chance to win. Why? I've got a guy out there that thinks offense first, knows how to put pucks away. The Flames have terrific net minding, and in this game, win or lose, will be decided ultimately by the guy between the pipes. And Gary, the goaltending is good. You are right, but you don't want your goaltender to have to be your best penalty killer every game. And right now, this goalie is getting a lot of work on the PK. Gets the puck away with a poke check. Shot. The shot denied by DiPietro. Terrific defense to poke check it away. Oh, Gare, pretty good open ice hit here. He locked on. He got tone. He finished him. Yashin carries the puck at the boards. Yashin under pressure sends out the puck. No one there to get it. The defensive zone. Hamerlet is pressured and feeds it back to Parrish. Parrish blasts it from the right side. From Regeer or to Simon. Simon, center ice. Simon with a deep. Controlling it in the corner. Penalty coming up. Simon getting position. We're going to see a cross checking penalty here. Well, you talk about pressure. If any team can handle it, I think these guys can. It's a tie game. Obviously, they don't want to fall behind. The penalty-killing unit has done a great job all season long. Watch them do the same here. The Flames take the puck. Power play underway. O'Coin picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Hey, you got to have possession to score goals, and the first way to do it, get the puck. Nice poke check to regain possession. It goes over to the right wing. He digs. Coin under pressure passes up the right side. Pekka with the puck at center ice. Passes over to the left wing. And center ice. Now it's taken by Jelena. We've got a face-off coming up. Teams moving into position here as they get set to drop the puck. The Islanders get the puck still in the PK with a one-man disadvantage. Leopold has the puck through the zone. Back to the point from Aginla. Simon behind the goalie. Simon behind the net. Hit hard by Ninema. They managed to clear it out of their zone, defending against the power play penalty killing unit working. Leopold passes the puck to center. The Islanders pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Skating with it, controlled by Parrish. Warner gets control of the puck in his own end. Warner feeds to the left side. Niemann with a deep. Over to Pekka. He brings the puck through the zone. Pekka gives it to the right wing. Passes it to the left wing. Niemann controlling the puck. Oh, he got in a pretty good lick here in open ice, folks. Not the best hit he's ever had, but he sure slowed the progress. The Islanders clear the puck. Kippersov is coming in now. They bring out the scoring line. Warner sends it across the ice to Kobasu to yell from Warner. The Flames get the chance to switch lines. They wanted to swap D pairs.
Well, you talk about pressure. If any team can handle it, I think these guys can. It's a tie game. Obviously, they don't want to fall behind. The penalty-killing unit has done a great job all season long. Watch them do the same here. The Flames win the faceoff on the power play. Two minutes for boarding. Leopold picks up the puck in the offensive end. DiPietro smothers the shot for the save. The Islanders have possession of the puck in the defensive zone. He passes to the defenseman. Leopold sends a long pass up the left side. Digs it. It's fed back to the point. DiPietro stops the shot. DiPietro save that one bottom left. No room. Johnson is knocked off the puck after getting shoulder checked by Aginla. The Islanders will bring in another penalty killing line. Leopold sends the puck up center ice. The neutral zone. The Flames take advantage. He scores, and that's a 1 0 lead in the home building. Fans on their feet. Skaters getting set now as the official moves into position. Ready for this faceoff as he gets set to drop the puck. The Islanders get the faceoff down by one. Has it along the boards. Plays In the center goal. to Kamasha. Ferentz brings the puck up through the zone. Number 12. Dillon with the puck in the corner. Harris. Oh, oh terrific defense. Pope checks the puck away. Nielsen gets possession of the puck. Oh, this is huge. Number Back 18. on their heels. I mean, that's the only way to describe what's going on with this team. Their goaltender bailed him out. If he doesn't make this save, they're down by two. He's got it in the corner. The puck's out in the middle. Hammerlick controls the puck in the defensive end. Ferentz with a great defensive play. That pokes the puck away. Boy, this guy was looking to get off the shot, and you know what? The poke check was perfect. No scoring chance. Hey, defensively, that's a terrific play. Doesn't matter where it is on the ice, the poke check is so effective. In deep with the puck. Oh, he gets a stick on the puck and shuts it down. What a play. Well, I wouldn't call this a piece of cake, but this penalty killing unit has been really strong. They're going to have to be strong here because if they can't get the job done, they're going to fall behind by two. Bill, this has been a great one-goal game, and these fans hoping they can make it, too, with the help of the noise that they're leveling. Boy, it's electric, and the fans are helping that cause, but I'll tell you what, it's still pretty tense with only a one-goal lead. Getting hung up with a stick there. Hammerly clears it out of the zone. That'll take some time off the power play still underway. He passes it up the center. Sent back to the point. On the left wall, controlled by Aginla. It's cleared out. This penalty still quite a bit of time left to go on it. And it's taken by Regeer. The Islanders get the loose puck in their own end. The Islanders send the puck up ice. That'll clear it on this penalty killing unit. From Aginla over to Lombardi. Lombardi with the D. DiPietro delivers the puck back to his defenseman. Time running out on the penalty. They clear it out of the zone. That may be enough to take care of this PK unit. Again, look. Has it at center ice. The Islanders trail by one here in the first period of tonight's game. What's going out there on the ice right now for this club? Well, they're not far behind, but they've got to get their forechecking going down low. They didn't spend enough time in the offensive zone, so they've got to get the puck deep, get the forecheck going, and contain. If they do that, I think they're going to be okay. Gautier to Kobasu. Awesome D gets by. Makes the move. He passes to the right wing. It's taken through the zone by Kobasu. Great deke, what a move. Niemann centers the puck to yell. Karens feeds the puck up the left ice, a long pass. Ronnie holding the puck in the corner. Niemann from Gautier. Niemann in the slot. Niemann around back to Kobasu. The puck tipped away. He's got it through the zone. Ronnie gets the puck out. Not a good pass. 
The Flames give their defenseman a break. New Tucson coming over the boards. Oh, what a terrific stop. The shooter was point blank, and he still got it with his stick. Boy, there's nothing more soothing to an athlete's ears than hearing these fans do what they're doing, and that is put up the big positive chant for the home team. Bill, this is going to be very soothing. The Flames get the faceoff, leading by DiPietro. Saves it. Down one goal, holding his part of the defensive bargain up right here as he keeps it to a one-goal deficit. Carried it into the corner. Johnson picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Scaling the wall and controlled by Janssen. Incredible save. That shot redirected, still made the stop. The Flames have possession of the puck. From Yasha to Parrish. The Flames grab the puck in the neutral zone. Jelena has the puck in the slot. Jelena has it in the corner. Poke checked. Jelena controls the puck at the point. The Flames have a chance to make a change right here. They want to do so. New forwards over the boards. Yasha gets drilled at center ice. Clark with the puck at center. And the poke check at center. That knocks the puck away. The Flames get a chance to change. It'll be a defensive shift opportunity here. Parrish pulls off the move. Saprika to Clark at center. It's shot from the left side. Oh, somebody's got to wake up in front of this goaltender. He just made a tremendous save. If he doesn't make it, they're down by two, and we're only in the first period. Oh, I love this hit. A neutral zone hip check. Hey, cool your heels for a while, baby. Sit on the ice. Both check force by Pekka. Getting hooked a bit. Officials paying attention now. Saprika hits the puck up the left side. It's passed to the point. Down in the corner. O'Coin, unable to do much under pressure, passes it back to Blake. Pekka uses the poke check to Clark from Leopold. Hammerlick will be part of the offensive line out there in the ice for his team. The shot. It's stopped. Loses the puck at a poke check. Hey, why don't we just call him Crusher? That was highlight material for sure. No, oh, how quick is this guy, Gary? He didn't grab it, but he was quick enough to get a piece of it with the glove. Chalk up another save. Hammerlick over to Pekka. Shoots! It's stopped by Kepersov. Oh, that's a pretty good poke check right there. I mean, the guy wasn't in great scoring position, but you got to get the puck to transition, and he did. Hammerlick moves it over to Hunter. Over to the point. Over to Pekka from Hunter. From Warner over to Lombardi. He's in the slot. Save that one headed to the top left by DiPietro. The puck hit. Save by DiPietro. He's controlling the puck at center right. The Islanders change shifts for their defense. He scores, and here at the end of the first, they've tied it up. Now, take a look at this replay, folks. One of the hardest shots to stop in the sport of hockey, a one-timer. And when it's coming high, it's even tougher. And so difficult to get that puck on your stick if you're the shooter to get it off and aim it at the same time. And that's exactly what he did right you, where he wanted you it. You bet, Gary. Hard to shoot and hard to stop. They're ready in the circle for the faceoff. The Islanders have come back and tied this New one up. Goal. That goal is a great refresher. You get down early, now they've come back and tied it. You're right back to where you started during the first. Ronnie controlling in the corner. In the corner. Ronnie. Oh, Gary, he just launched a top right point seeking missile, and he got robbed. Ronnie in control. And we're at the two minute mark of the period. Lidman decides to send it back, getting some pressure out there. Parents with a centering pass, players around. Tonight's NHL game is being presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Flames win the face-off game tied. Only a minute 25 remaining on the game clock for this period. He feeds it up the right side. They get in the way. 
Yell gains possession in the defensive end. DPA oh, saves it. Johnson covered tightly, knocks the puck up the left side. Asham decides to settle the puck. Yell dishes off to the left wing. Niemann with a deke, tries a deke. Niemann passes to the right wing. Line handle brings the puck up. Line handle scales the boards. Time remaining, 20 seconds in the period. Gets it over to the left wing. It's controlled right side along the boards by Niemann. He scores here at the end of the first period. Back-breaking goal. That's one they'll smile at, taking it into the intermission. And they're ready for the face-off, getting their sticks down on the ice as we get set to drop the puck. The Flames are mighty happy about that one here in the first period. That's a go-ahead goal, at least for the moment. We've reached the end of the first period. The score, 2-1. Two, two the Flames have the one-point lead here in the second period, Bill, and playing very well throughout that first. What's going on out there on the ice for this team right now? Well, Gary, a sure way to make a one-goal lead disappear is to answer here for roll call in the sin bin. And there hasn't been much of here in the sin bin for this team. Really disciplined. They're staying out of penalty trouble. And right now, that's the difference. It's period two, and we're getting ready to drop the puck. The Islanders get first possession to begin the second period. O'Coin out in front. He scores, and that's a two-goal lead here in the second. Oh, what a nice play. This guy really can feed the scores. You look at the stats, and there's only one guy better on his team. This is a great assist. That's what they ask of him, even though he's number two in assists on the club. The feeling is someday he's going to take over that number one spot. Plays like that, he will. Hey, you need a number two guy, too. And the biscuit's ready to be dropped. The Flames go ahead by two goals. You gotta love that. Here in the second period, they'll try and maintain that lead to take to the third. From Lombard to Leopold. Boy, you talk about jacking another guy's jaw. He just rattled his bones for that hit. Hamerlick with the puck in the defensive zone. To Parrish from Hamerlick. 16 seconds. Behind the goalkeeper now. Parrish holds the puck in the corner. The puck is in the corner. It's fed back to the point. Scaling the wall with the puck. Puck center to Parrish. And the puck is held by Parrish. Leopold covered tight. Passes up the right side. Tries a D. Controlling the puck along the boards by Yashin. Yashin with the puck. Yashin over to Kavashin. Lombardi pins him up against the wall. Lombardi grabs the puck on a long pass into traffic. Yashin. Kippersall saving it. He keeps that two-goal lead alive for his club. Kavasha fires out a pass, but to no one. The puck controlled by Leopold. Leopold moving it. DiPietro, save. He blocks that one headed to the left. Lombardi is held up against the wall. The Flames switch up the defensive pairing. Lombardi, save by DiPietro. Hammerlick center ice. Over to Yashin from Hammerlick. The Islanders wanted to make a line change. Their forwards coming over the boards for that change right now. Hammerlick under pressure. Passes up the left side. Lidman will come in. Defensive effort off the bench now. Save. Play stops. The The referee will drop the puck left of the net. The Flames get the face off. They're up by two here in their own house. Does a move. Bulldozer central, and I think it might have been the element of surprise. We don't know this guy for the big open ice hits. Hunter passes the puck to the left wing. Puck handled by Jelena. 
The Flames give their defenseman a break. New Tucson coming over the boards. Ninema up with a pass through center. Through the zone. To the right wing. Blake gets the puck out. Not a good pass. Hunter with a centering pass to Blake. The corner. Broken up with a poke check. Carrying the puck along the boards. Controlled by Hunter. From Hunter. Kippersall. Save. The one-timer shut down. Good positioning. Gautier makes the long left side pass. Jelena along the boards. Behind the goalie. Ninema holding him. Got him along the wall. Sent to the left side. Blake holding the puck in the neutral zone. Kiprasov covers up the puck, playing it safe. You know, Warner's really made a name for himself in the defensive zone. If you've got your head down, you can forget about it. You might not make it out of the defensive zone. Kiprasov camps out at the left of the goal. The Islanders win the draw, trailing here by two. The Flames get the loose puck in their own end. The Islanders regain control on the offensive. Ronnie down low to Zerkowski. Zerkowski sends the puck up the middle. Quick poke check to break up the play by Zerkowski. Over to Yell. Yell, center ice. Martinick gets control of the puck in his own end. Martinick puts the puck through center. Puck controlled right side by Bates. Bates fires out a pass, but to no one. Zerkowski sends the pass, but no one can get to it. Into the wall with the puck. Oh, I love this guy, and I love the way he blocks shots. Up by two, he got it done really efficiently. In the slot, save. Carried it into the corner. Holds the puck at center. Zerkowski has it. Oh, this guy's got guts. He dropped to his knees and blocked the shot, preserving the two-goal lead. Boy, you want to force a guy into mistakes. Sometimes the best weapon for that is your stick. He used it, too. Nice poke check. Holding it at center ice. Hammerlick and his offensive line coming now as they get fresh skaters out there, changing up in the forwards. From O'Coy to Ronning. Ronning takes it up through the zone. At the neutral zone, handled by Lombardi. To Aginla from Lombardi. The long pass intercepted by Hammerlick. Hammerlick held along the wall. Aginla is pinning him along the glass. It's poke checked away at center ice. Lidman will be coming out on the ice. They switch it up. The defenseman changing. Sensational move. Ninema makes the pass to the defenseman. Lidman forces the puck loose with a poke check. It's saved by Kepersov. Behind the goal. The puck carried by Yashin. Simon threw an elbow. That'll get him to the penalty box. Simon gets his first penalty of the contest. He's got a couple of guys ranked ahead of him on his team. Currently, he is number three in penalty minutes for his squad. The referee gets set to drop the puck. Loving it, loving it. That's what this crowd is doing, and they're letting the players hear it. And this ought to urge him on to a three-goal lead. Puck back to the point. Hammer with the hard shot. With the puck in the corner. Leopold uses a quick poke check, disrupts the opportunity. Oh, got to love the way this guy hits. He just finds his target, zeroes in, and finishes him. Kippersov smothers the shot for the save. Parrish gets possession of the loose puck. The centering pass is made. The Flames have got a nice cushion here. Two goals about halfway through this second period, Bill. And they're leading in the first period. Looks like they've continued right where they left off after the break. Recipe here tonight has been successful. What's making this game turn out like this? Well, Gary, the one thing I look for often is who is contributing. Well, pretty well everybody is. They got a nice two-goal lead. You look at the special teams, they're getting it done, especially the penalty-killing unit. Without some good work by them, it probably wouldn't be a two-goal lead right now. They got great up-ice pressure. They're really digging in, working hard, and they're winning most of those one-on-one -on -one battles. Sent back to the point. Again, look, under pressure, sends out the puck. No one there to get it. Sticking going on inside there. Hammerlick gives it to the right wing. It's poke checked away. Gautier sends the puck up center ice. 
Boy, it sure is a nice feeling knowing you've got guys like this on your team. He thinks offense first. That means in a jam, he's going to get it done. And you know what? If nothing opens up, he will find a way to manufacture offense. And here we go. Let's start this action up again. The Flames have the puck leading by two at home. Warner started this fight, but I think the reason for this fight started earlier in the game. There's been some contact. There have been words exchanged out there on the ice, and it just seemed to progress. Yeah, Gary, I think you nailed it. It's kind of payback time. These guys have long memories. Big time payback. Warner started the brawl out there in the ice bill, but he ended up not on top. And in fact, this may have an impact on the outcome of this game. Well, now his team's got to back up that loss because you know the other guys are going to be really bolstered by that big adrenaline that flows out of winning the fight. Another face-off about to commence. Let's get it going. The Islanders get the face-off down by two on the road. The puck is being carried by Kavasha. Close call. That's using the stick too much. Leopold over to Clark. Clark has the puck at center ice. Five minute major. Hammerl controls the puck in the defensive end. Thirty-three of the second period. Kiprasov save. That two-goal advantage stays up on the board as he hangs on. Kiprasov save. Going left side low. Nothing down there to shoot at. The puck then taken through the zone by Ryan Pratt from Packer over to Hunter. He scores his team now just one goal shy of tying here in the second the refs got the puck at hand ready to start things up again the Islanders with the puck off the faceoff still down by a goal he scores and here in the second period that will tie this game up Hey, take a look at this. I mean, a lot of guys wear shoulder pads that are big enough to make this save. This one just got a piece of the shoulders and then went in. Bill goaltenders can redirect the puck in a lot of different ways, but up on the shoulder, that's a very tough place to do anything with it. Generally just bounces off. Then they have to react again. Yeah, the only thing you can do is shrug. He shrugged and missed. Now he's shrugging again. We'll get back to the action now. The ref gets ready to drop the puck. The Islanders have got themselves back even. That is a big goal here in the second period. They've now got a chance to start this thing from fresh. Assisted by number 44. Simon scaling the boards with the puck. Number 79. Lexi Yash. Time of the goal. Ninema loses the puck after the hip check by Simon. Kavasha from Yashin. Does a move. The slot. Save and he gets his body in front of that shot. He brings the puck up. The Flames give the defenseman a breather here. New pair coming out on the ice. Parrish passes the puck to center. Save made by Kiprasov. The Islanders wanted to get a line change here. Offensive lines will change. They've got an opportunity to Lombardi. Lombardi moves it over to Ginley. DPA throw with the save. A coin gets pressured, gives it back to Kavasha. Oh, you won't see many saves better than this one. Take a look at the replay, Gary. And he used his blocker on the play perfectly. Bill, great positioning right there. That blocker not only allows you to stop the puck, but redirect it so you can head up ice the other way. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he started a counterattack. Boy, you don't think there's any love being poured out for the home team? Listen to this crowd chant. We talk about how you got to believe. This home crowd believes. The Flames win the face-off game tied. O'Coin with a poke check to break up the play. Donovan hit hard behind the net on that play. Kavasha up with a pass through center. Poke check by Lidman. The Islanders with the puck in the offensive zone. What a defensive play. That pokes the puck away. Kavasha gets to the loose puck. Kavasha has the puck. 
Kavasha holds the puck in the corner. Kavasha controlling it. Boy, you hear coaches talking about having a good stick. That's what they mean. Perfect poke check to deny a scoring opportunity. Boy, you gotta love guys that break up plays like that. I mean, they don't bring the crowds to their feet with the big hits, but that's an effective play using the poke check. Donovan has had an exchange of words already tonight. Not happy about some pushing. There was some additional contact. A little shoving went on out there. I think this thing finally just boiled over. Yeah, Gary, you could see it building little by little and finally bang. Happens so often. That's why fights start. Pekka gets his first penalty of the contest. He's got a couple of guys ranked ahead of him on his team. Currently, he is number three in penalty minutes for his squad. Kiprasov races for the faceoff near his goal. The Islanders have the puck. He scores and a big goal late here in the second period. That'll put them up by one. They'll try and take that one into the dressing room. And they're ready for the faceoff. The Islanders have pulled ahead here in the second period. Big goal. That one gives them the lead. Puck checked away. Hamlet feeds the puck out of pressure up the left side. Kipperson makes the save. His team down a goal right now does not want to give up another one here. From Aginla to Nielsen. Along the left wall, now it's controlled by Nielsen. Jelena carries it behind the net. Along the right wall, controlled by Jelena. Boy, you can tell he's playing for high stakes. He just racked them. Kavasha knocks the puck back to his defenseman out of harm's way. He digs. Parrish with the puck. Parrish to Kavasha. He makes the save. Regair in the neutral zone. Controlled along the boards. Parrish, center ice. And we're at the two minute mark of the period. Regair with the D. Has it in the slot. And the save made by DiPietro. Well, Rick DiPietro is really on a lot of nights worth the price of admission. He's an acrobatic goalie, kind of a throwback. He'll come at you and say, you know what? You're the shooter. I'm the goalie. I'm going to attack first. The linesman will drop the puck to the goalie's right. The Flames with possession after the faceoff. Down one goal. DiPietro down low to make the save, and his body was perfectly positioned. He had the majority of the net covered, and that's how he made the save with the body. Winding down this one with a minute 23 showing up overhead. The Islanders pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Hunter playing physical hockey in the neutral zone. To Janssen from Hunter. Yell checked, center ice. One minute remaining. Need him oh, what a terrific defensive play to poke check the puck away. Niemann dishes out a hard hip check, knocks him to the ice. Yashin sends it right side, out of pressure. Along the boards, control. Oh, a pad save and a point blank save at that. This was beautiful. The puck to the left wing. Hunter uses his stick. Niemann, a little roughed up at center ice by Hunter. Ooh, man, he was northbound in the southbound lane, and he paid a price. Too late to watch out now. He is down. Oh, all I can say is that had to hurt. And they're getting ready for the faceoff as the players get set around the faceoff dot. It goes to the defenseman. Hunter gets the loose puck at center ice. Save. Nice positioning. That's how you use the body. Body shot save by Kiprasov. We've reached the end of the second period and the score 4 to 3. The Flames starting the third period trailing one goal. They went the opposite direction that they wanted to early in period two when they were ahead. Anything going on out there on the ice that sums up uh, what's happening here for our viewers? Well, Gary, they're down by a goal, and I think at least part of that is due to the fact that they're not being as physical as the other team. You've got to bring it, and it's a good way to start this thing turning around, establish a physical presence, and they haven't yet. The players meet at center ice to begin the third. 
Bill, this game's still doable. This home crowd's not going to let it go. No, there's one group that's not giving up, and that's the crowd. He pulls off the move. Leopold picks up the loose puck in his own zone. The neutral zone. Again, look. With a deep. DiPietro hangs on for the save. Keeps that one goal lead for his club. Pokes it away. Hunter loses the puck after a solid shoulder check by Aginla. DiPietro passes to the defenseman. It's poke check by Simon. The Flames gain possession of the puck. Simon poke checks. Hammerlick is held up against the wall. O'Coin brings it up through the zone. Rigueur is under pressure and sends it back to his defenseman. Over to Aginla from Leopold. O'Coin under pressure passes up the right side. And is broken up at center. Aginla, he's in the slot. He Save! He's in the corner. He scores! And early here in the third period, they've gotten this game back tied. Both teams looking to get a goal here. We're tied, and it's in the third. The Islanders win the draw. Score still tied. In the slump. From Yashin over to Parrish. The Flames Play have possession of the puck in the defensive zone. Gellin is against the board. Chris Donovan Simon. from Gellin. Janssen holding him. Got him along the wall. Matthew. Donovan held along the boards. Oh, I love this play here. The poke check to stop the play before it even gathers steam. Time of the goal. Creates room with that deep. Of the third period. Donovan gets the loose puck at center ice. And it's taken to center ice by Janssen. The Islanders give their forwards a rest here. Shift change underway. The Flames are able to make the switch. Defensive change over the boards. Johnson covered tightly, knocks the puck up the left side. Now on the right side, the puck handled by Ronning. Ronning has the puck in the corner. Oh, timing was perfect. Laid the body down. Good shot block to keep the game tied. In the corner. Over to the point. DiPietro, save, attempt at the top shelf there, great stop. Oh, how sweet was that poke check, Gary? I mean, he knew exactly when to move, and he timed it perfectly. Ronning has it in the corner. Ronning is knocked off the puck after getting hit in the shoulder by Donovan. Kellen holds him up along the wards to Bates. Ronning has it at center ice. Leopold passes it to the right wing. He deeks. Deeks. Zerkowski. Oh, what a poke check to disrupt the opportunity. Now it's taken through the zone by Leopold. Donovan takes a shot into his own bench off the shoulder check. Nielsen pokes it away. The Flames make the D change here. Hammerlin feeds it out of pressure up the right side. Gautier hits the puck out through center. DiPietro saves that shot from the right side. He brings it up. No luck with the pass from Aginla. Simon, under pressure, passes up the left side. Pekka has it in the slot. Save me. Duck that stick to the body. I don't know if the ref saw that. Simon clears the puck. He controls the puck along the boards. Centering pass to Aginla. Hey, he's doing what he's got to do here. In front of the net, you've got to make contact. Lidman comes in for the defensive switch. He's got it in the corner. Quick poke check to break up a big play. Looks like we've got a delayed call coming up. Kippersall. Save using his blocker, making a powerful stop on that shot. Well, we're going to take another look at this slashing penalty to see if it was a good one. And yeah, it was a good one from a referee standpoint. That was the right call, but it puts him in the sin bin and puts his team down a couple of minutes. Oftentimes, that defense gets out of position. You end up using that stick that way to try and slow down the offense. That's the whole design to keep this game moving. Call that. Yeah, but did he ever chop him there? And we got the faceoff coming up. Score tied here in the third.
The Flames get the short-handed faceoff, looking to kill off this penalty. Yell controlling the puck. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 7.31 of the third period. Center ice. O'Coin checks him in the neutral zone, controlling the puck in the defensive zone. Parrish feeds to the left side. And a save. He took the bottom away from the shooter. Zerkowski gains control of the loose puck in the offensive zone. Oh, nice poke check on that play, Garrett. It looked like he was thinking counterattack right away. Parrish gains possession in the defensive end. From Parrish to Yashin. Zerkowski. He scores! And in the third period, that will give him the lead. Is a man that just executed a crazy play. How awesome is this? On the replay, you'll see he froze everybody with the fake shot then feathered the one-time pass. Execution at the end. Oh, man, this is a tremendous play. He'll give it a chance. The goaltender would just as soon walk out of the net and just watch the puck go in and say, tip my hat, it's yours. I mean, how many things could have gone wrong for the goalie on that play? I mean, everything did. We've got a face-off coming up. Teams moving into position here as they get set to drop the puck. The Flames win the faceoff down by one. New York goal. Scored by he deeks. Deflected off the defense. Broken up with a poke check. Poke checked away by Saprika. The Flames get control of the puck in the offensive end. Saprika loses the puck after that shoulder shot by Janssen. And they go offside. Oh, Gary, let's take a look at this hit. This is a beautiful open ice collision. The unfortunate thing is it left one man down. That's what we say, keep your head on a swivel is all about. If you're not doing that, that's what can happen to you. Not on a swivel, you get your head knocked off. Skater's getting set now as the official moves into position. Ready for this faceoff as he gets set to drop the puck. The Islanders control the faceoff. They lead by one. Janssen tries a D. Janssen poke checks to Parrish from Ninema. And the save made by Kiprasov. The Flames are back a goal now, still trailing after going into the break and coming back for this third period. Most of this one over, Bill. What do you see going on out there? Well, Gary, sometimes the score relates to other numbers. We know that. In this case, down by a goal, I think it's about face-offs. They've just got to pick it up better in the face-off circle. Carrying the puck along the boards, controlled by Warner. Again, look, is in the corner. Again, look, with a biscuit. Oh, helping out his goaltender. What a good shot block up by one. Coach doesn't want a penalty, seeing too much stick work there. To the point. Gautier steals the puck on the centering pass. Again, look, plays it up the center. Martinez, center ice. Lombardi getting hung up with a stick there. Holding it at center ice. Looks like a fight. Tension starting to flare up out there. Third period of play here tonight. Here we go. Again, look. Really reacted to the checking that's been going on with their star player throughout this game. He's been a target out there, and I think they're fed up with him. But, Gary, he had to know that there was a bullseye on him after he hit the star player. I mean, you've got to protect your skill guys. Once you start throwing your body around nailing the skill guys, you know somebody's going to come after you. Again, look, uh, got the fight going, and he finished it off, but they've got to finish this game off. Well, Gary, if you're looking for a spark, that's a great place to start. He won that fight. Here's our face-off coming up. Sweet move. Has space. Over the wine handle from Skatcher. Controlling it in the corner. Need him up with the centering pass. The Skatcher. Lombardi brings the puck up. Lombardi carries the puck into the corner from Lombardi. Close to slashing there. You got to watch that stick. Janssen puts the puck through center to Winehandle. He's got it in the corner. Gets it over to the left wing. Asham controlling the puck in the corner. 
Well, I love this poke check because they stopped an offensive play from developing before it even got on the... Oh, a point-blank shot. Maybe too close. Sometimes all you can see is goalie. You can't see any twine. Good pad save. At the neutral zone, handled by Skatcher. The Islanders change shifts for skaters coming out on the ice. Donovan in the slot from Donovan. Along the corner. He gets poke check. Usham under pressure, passes it back to Skatcher. It's poke checked away. Oh, what a hit right there. Gary, that is a timing play. You got to know what you're doing with the hip check, and he just smoked him, flattened him. Quick poke check to break up the play by Donovan. Took that stick to the body. I don't know if the ref saw that. In the slot area now. DPA throw. Saves it. Skatcher at center. Almost a hook. At least it looked like it. Lidman uses the poke check. Ferentz got the ref's attention. He's going to be hit with a penalty when the play is called. Ferentz with his first penalty of the night. He just hopes that the PK unit can get it done. Otherwise, it's a long skate back to his bench. Kiprasov gets set to defend as they face off to his right. Hammerlin has it. To O'Coin from Hammerlin. Zerkowski over to O'Coin. The puck's loose. Over to Regeer from Leopold. And they clear the puck. Just under two minutes still left to go on this penalty. Yashin is getting pressured. Sends the puck back to his D. It's taken through the zone by O'Coin. The D. Yashin in the corner. Yashin glides the puck into the center. From Regeer over to Leopold. He passes to the defenseman. Rifles it. Kiprasov stops the shot, keeping that deficit at just one for his club. Zerkowski sends it right side. Out of pressure. They clear the puck, trying to kill this penalty off. PK unit gets it out of the end. O'Coin from Hammerlick. He takes it through the zone. O'Coin does a move. Regeer clears the puck for his PK unit. He feeds it up the left side. Zerkowski has the puck in the neutral zone. Back to the point. Controlling it around back. Parrish behind the goal gets it by Regeer. Oh, a high-impact play from a high-impact guy. What a hit. And the puck is controlled by Parrish. Hey, cross-check is the call here, Gary. We're going to go back and take a look at it and see just how much damage was inflicted. Damage it up for a two-minute minor. That's where he'll spend the rest of it over there in the sin bin. It'll be more damage if they get skillless penalty here. The skaters will face off left of the net. The Islanders win the draw, still leading by one. All right, we're going to go back and take a look at this roughing penalty, Gary, and figure out exactly what went on. Most of these games, you got to earn it. And in this case, looks like he earned it. Yeah, he earned a full two. Two minutes. Ferrance picks up his second penalty of the night and will be returning to the box to do his time on the call by the ref. Number 21, Andrew. And they'll face off on the right side of the goalkeeper. The Flames win the faceoff. Penalty kill still underway. Five on three in the ice. Johnson gets control of the puck in his own end. To Kavasha. Over to Blake. The Flames pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Oh, center of gravity on the right spot. The hip check nailed him hard. At the point. Hunter to Blake. He's got it in the slot. Gautier controls the puck in the defensive end. The Islanders regain control. Blake gets his third penalty of the night. You know what? Sooner or later, you back your team into a corner that they can't get out of when you take this many penalties. They're ready in the circle for the faceoff. The Flames get the short-handed faceoff, looking to kill off this penalty. The Islanders have possession at center ice. 
time of the penalty. The Flames the have possession of the puck in the, the defensive zone. Game. He digs it. Hunter picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Hunter sends the puck. No one there. Gautier knocks the puck up through center ice. The shot saved. Hunter has the puck through the zone. Down under two minutes now. In the neutral zone. The Islanders have possession of the puck. Again, holds him tight against the wall. Taking some abuse, maybe enough for a call. The puck handled by Aginla. One minute remaining in the period. Period winding down, 54 seconds left in it. The Islanders are at the disadvantage now, the PK unit on the ice. Regeer takes the puck through the zone. Hammerle passes it up through center ice. Lidman manages to get it out. Put him at wing, he scores. Put Jerome McGinley at center, he scores. Put him on defense, he'd probably score there too. Get the idea there's a pattern here for Aginla. Kiprasov prepares to protect the left side of the goal. Ten seconds remaining on the clock. The Flames, trailing by a goal, win the faceoff. This hockey game is over. We've got a final score, five to four. The third star of the game. Number 12, Jerome Eginla. The second star of the game, number 37, Mark Parrish. And the first star of the game, number 79, Alexi Yashin. And that's going to do it for our National Hockey League exhibition game tonight. On behalf of Bill Clement and all of our crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks for joining us, everybody. That regular season's not far away, and we'll see you there.